Hi everybody and welcome back to another tool review video. Today's review is going to be on a very interesting tool that I think every mechanic should own. And what I'll be featuring today is a digital inspection video scope from Autel. It's called Maxi Video MV400. And this one here I got from TomTop.com. TomTop.com has actually contacted me to try out this tool and to let everybody know what I think about it. The link to their website and to this product is directly underneath the video today. And this inspection video camera comes in a nice hard portable case. Now I've already had this box opened up. I just put it back like this to show you how it comes. And here's what's included with this camera set. Here's the main camera unit. You've got your adapter to charge it. It also comes with another adapter over here. Now these aren't the plugs I use here in Canada, but I'm sure some of you guys watching will need this plug here. The plugs we use in North America are like this. Now you're also going to get some cables in which you can connect this camera to your computer. I'll show them to you closer. It's a USB cable with a camera plug. And you're also going to get a cable in which you can plug it to some other external source like a television. Now in this small bag you're going to get a magnetic attachment to pick up small metal parts that may have fallen inside your engine. And you're also going to get this accessory mirror to help you see around sharp angles. And now this item over here is the actual camera scope. And this flexes and stays in the shape that you flex it to. And the actual scope wire is approximately 30 inches long. And all you have to do is plug it into the camera unit just like this. And then tighten this up. Now I'm going to give you a closer look of the unit itself. It's actually pretty light in your hands. It feels well balanced. And here's the information on the unit. And here's the manufacturer's website. On the other side here there's a small flap you can open up. Now the cable I showed you earlier plugs in here and then you can plug it into your computer. The other small cable as well would plug into here. And this is for the charger. And this port here is to install a micro SD card to give you extra memory. Now you don't have to install a micro SD card in order to use the unit. It's totally optional but if you do add an extra one it will give you extra memory and you can easily take the card out later on and plug it into any computer that you want to. And I'm actually putting a card in because there is not that much memory inside the camera if you're going to be doing video recording. So I do recommend to get a small micro SD card. Apparently the manual says that the camera works better with a card that is not bigger than 16 gigabytes. And on top here is the on and off switch. So I'm just going to turn it on. You push and that's it. It will come on. And as you can see here, the camera is picking up some images. Now you can actually take pictures and video with this unit. If you want to switch, you just press this button over here. It's going to go from still photo mode to video camera mode. And you can see the icon here switch. Now it's in picture mode, now video mode. Now there's a bit of glare, you can probably see me videotaping this. But I want to show you how you can take an image and how you can videotape. So if I want to take an image in picture mode, I would just press OK. Point the camera where I want it to. Now it's processing the image. Now I'm going to switch to video mode just to show you that it's the same. You press OK. Now it's recording as you can see here. And to stop you just hit OK again. If you want to view the files you just go to the play icon here. And you can switch back and forth. If I want to see the photo it will come up here. There's the photos. You go back to go back. And here's the video. And again, you push back. If you do want to delete an image or photo, you would just click the garbage bin icon here. And OK. I actually deleted the video files earlier. Now I'm going to delete the photos. Now the camera is completely empty of all files. Now I've got it in video mode. As you can see, there's a small light at the end of the camera tip here. You can decrease the brightness by pressing the left arrow and you can see the light dimmed and the other arrow to make the light brighter. 
Also for zooming in and out, you would press the up or down arrows. If I press the top arrow, it's going to zoom in. If I press the bottom arrow, it's going to zoom out. Again, there's a link under the video to where you can go read all about the specs. Now it's time for me to do a demonstration here to show you exactly what this camera can do. I'll be showing you two examples, one in a small engine shop and the other for automotive use. The first thing I'll be using it on today is a chainsaw that came in with no compression. The piston and rings are scored. However, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to find that out. And that is by taking the plug out and sticking the camera in there to look inside. This will give us the exact condition of the cylinder walls inside the engine. Now when you start, you want to turn the tip of the camera so that it's level. And I'm going to reach inside the cylinder and look around. I'm going to make sure my light is nice and bright. Now I will be filming this camera here. However, I will take some of the video files from inside this camera here and incorporate them in the video. So that way you're going to see the actual video file from this camera. And now if I go in, here's the piston and you can see a bit of scoring on the front. There's a small hole on top of the piston there. And from the actual video from the camera, you can see that the cylinder walls are scored. What I'm going to do now is just look at the impulse line on this saw. I'm just going to do a quick inspection. Now what I want to show you is the magnetic attachment for this tool. And now I'm going to show you how good the magnet is. So that's very handy. You would have the camera, you could see exactly where you're going in, and then retrieve it. In my small engine shop, that's probably what I would use this tool the most, is to look down cylinders. Now I'm probably going to end up using this for other things than just going down cylinder holes on small engines. Now that I've showed you how I'm mostly going to be using this for small engine repairs, I'm just going to show you a quick example of how you can use this in an automotive setting. So here's my pickup for an example. If you wanted to look inside your throttle body assembly, you could just take off the pipe here, reach down in here with this tool, and see what's going on inside there. You could also use it to look inside your spark plug holes as well to see how each cylinder is. You could also use it in these hard to reach areas to see if vacuum pipes are busted. I'm just going to look at my fuel injectors over here and then you're going to see the actual video from the camera. Now when you use the camera, it does take a bit of getting used to, to getting the camera nice and straight or in the right position so the video is not upside down. It's not a tool I will be using every day, but when I do need it, it's going to be very handy. And especially when you work on cars or trucks, just being able to diagnose something very quickly without ripping it all apart can save you a lot of time and money. So my final take on this tool is I highly recommend it. It's pretty well a must-have tool. Now even though I've worked many years without one, I can see the benefits of having it and I'm pretty well telling myself why didn't I get one earlier. I just like knowing that I can go look inside an engine without having to tear it all apart. That's going to save me tons of time, it's going to be a lot quicker to diagnose problems. And sometimes by having this camera you can find problems that you didn't know were there. Again I want to thank TomTop.com for sending this camera for me to try out. I was not paid monetarily to do this video to review this camera. And there's also a direct link to where you can buy this tool from their website under the video today. So thanks for watching guys. Feel free to comment on this tool if you already own it. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.